All right, let's get going with our grand finale to Shrek week, and this is Shrek. We're gonna do our EMOM workout today. Uh, we're gonna need to put 20 minutes on that clock, every minute on the minute. Uh, what we have are, we have three working minutes. Minute number four is your rest minute. Minute number one will be a 200 meter run. So what you wanna do is you wanna lay out that course so uh, you're gonna run 100 meters down and 100 meters back, okay? Now, if you can't finish that 200 meters at about 45 seconds, I would recommend to you that we maybe shorten that up to like, let's say 150 meters, okay? But the goal here is we're gonna try to get that, those runs done in that 40, 45 seconds every time, okay? That's gonna give you 15 seconds of rest, and that will get you ready for movement number two. Movement number two becomes goblet squats. So, goblet squat, holding that dumbbell nice and tall, right? Sending those hips back, making sure that hip makes that knee crease every time, 15 reps, okay? So, those are gonna feel a little bit tougher after you've done the run. We've put some, we've made those legs a little heavy. You're gonna work your way through 15 goblet squats. Think about big inhale, hold your breath on the way down until you get to the bottom, Exhale on the stand up, okay? That way we can get our heart rate under control after that run, okay? Um, and that's what gives us the most power to stand up out of those goblet squats, just like we would do when we're back squatting, okay? So in here, we should use a challenging weight for our goblet squats. So after those 15 goblet squats, minute three comes along, the buzzer goes, then it becomes max rep box jumps, right? So our box jumps were here. We're just landing nice and soft on that box, always stepping down, right? Full extension at the top. That's what we're looking for on those box jumps. Now, if you're out of and away camping or somewhere else, pull up the old picnic table that's probably at that campsite. Your chances are you got a bench that's probably about that 12 to 15 inches off the ground. We can do jumps on those. I would jump by where the legs are so you know that they're reinforced better. Um, if we don't have that, that's fine. We have an option for you. What we would do is we would take one big stride, okay, one big stride. We'd mark that line on the ground and we're gonna do max rep broad jumps. So we're here and we are gonna do max rep broad jumps for that last minute. Those will get spicy. Um, they're gonna give you as close a feel to doing box jumps uh, usually we would program tuck jumps. I just find tuck jumps to be pretty hard on people because there's a lot of impact on landing those. Um, so anyways, if you max rep box jumps or broad jumps, you know, four comes, write your score down, grab your cold drink, rest, recover, get ready to go on that run again, five rounds, 